Hey guys, what's up? Today I got a beautiful pork roast. It's actually cut from a piglet. Look, here's the loin and we got the rib still in. That's a beautiful pork roast, right? We're gonna season it up with a little bit of rub. We'll do something extra to it on the side. So uh, let's get started. So this is a beautiful pork roast. I absolutely love to cook this. It looks really good. It's more of a piglet than really of a pork. And that's what makes it light, beautiful, but also there's a lot of fat content in there. We're gonna put some olive oil on top just to help the rub stick. Now you can trim off the fat, but I wanna keep it. Just a little bit of olive oil here and there. Now there's this little membrane here that we're gonna get off before we get started. We definitely want this off on this rib roast. So the way we do this is with a butter knife. Some people use screwdrivers or other stuff. The basic thing is you wanna use a blunt object and get it underneath the silver skin. Just rub it up against the rib and work your way up, lifting up this silver skin. There you go, and then just get it off. If you're lucky, it all goes in one jerk, but otherwise, it will take a little bit of work to take it off, but believe me, it's definitely worth it. And now the rub will have the opportunity to penetrate the meat on this side as well. And at the same time, we remove the part that's really chewy, so when we're serving this, we won't be bothered with it. Today I will be using a new rub of mine that will hopefully be coming out at the beginning of next barbecue season, if there is such a thing as a barbecue season. There we go. I will put a substitute barbecue rub in the video description so you guys could use that rub instead of this rub. And I just want to get a lot of it on there. Now that we've seasoned our beautiful pork roast, we're going to place it in an oven tray on a rack. And this is an elevated rack, which is perfect just to make sure that all the smoke gets into the pork. And at the same time, it shields off any heat that may come from below. So we'll put this on our Napoleon Rogue. We're gonna put it towards the back and we'll start up the two burners on the side on a fairly high temperature. And we'll add some wood chunks later for smoking. Look at this beautiful pouch that we created. Very easy to do. Just poke a few holes in there. The pellets will start to smoke and not burn because there's not enough air in there, but the smoke will come out on top of our burners. The pork roast is coming along nicely. Look at the beautiful color. The fat is rendering off. We got a little bit of smoke color on there. It's looking good. So it's time to start working on our mustard caviar. That's right, mustard caviar. What do we need for mustard caviar? Of course, we need mustard seed. And this is about half a cup. We need to take this and boil it. We'll put it in a pan and put this on our side burner. When we are toasting our seeds, we gotta keep watching it. We don't want them to burn. So we just toasted them lightly. Now we're gonna add water. I got some preheated water. And we'll let these boil for around five minutes and then we'll sift them. Well, they've been cooking for around five minutes now. We'll just run them through a sieve. Look, they soaked up almost all the water. Trying to get the remaining water out. Back in the pan and we'll add fresh water to that. More preheated water. Bring it to the boil again. The mustard seeds have been cooking for five times now and uh, they're turning nice and soft. So they're almost done, but before they're done, we're gonna be preparing the flavor of our mustard caviar. So we're gonna add a little bit of Jim Bean, about five tablespoons. And this is gonna be easy because it's equal amounts of Jim Bean, maple syrup, and apple cider vinegar. And there we go, a little bit of Worcester sauce. That's about two tablespoons and then plenty of salt. I think that's two pinches. 
Then we're gonna heat this up, let it dissolve and mix it up with our mustard seeds. So first we gotta take the mustard seeds off our grill. And for the last time, we'll separate them from the water. And you can see the water that has been boiling turned completely yellow. And what it does, it not only boils the water, but it's take, it takes out the bitterness out of the mustard seeds. And now we'll add the mustard seeds to our flavors. And it, for last time, it will go onto our side burner. While the mustard seeds are absorbing all these flavors, we're gonna take our pork roast off the grill. She's a beauty. Do you see that? The juices are running out. So we're gonna let it rest and then we'll slice it up. That's beautiful. And the smell. Mmm, wow. This smells good. All right, that has been about five minutes of more boiling and now it's absolutely done. So put the mustard caviar into a jar because it's nice to serve it like this in a jar. You can put it on the table with a spoon in it, but you can also like store it this way. You know, if you keep it for uh, several days, like five days, let it cool down, put it in the fridge, and then you will have even more and softer mustard caviar. This is that magical moment that we've all been waiting for. Let me turn this around. Find that one bone in the middle and we'll slice it up. Long strokes. There we go. Yeah. Wow. That looks good. Now that's juicy. This is ultra juicy. Juices are running out of it. Just a little bit of smoke ring there. So you guys see that on a gas grill, you can definitely create a nice smoke ring. Of course, you get really thin slices when you buy a piglet roast. But hey, they look good, right? So of course, I have to do a taste test. Oh, that really is just ridiculous. It tastes so good. Let's plate this up. Make it look as pretty as possible. That's gorgeous. Now adding that mustard caviar, just pour it on maple syrup, apple cider vinegar. That's a dream, right guys? Look at how beautiful this looks. Of course guys, I, I have to give this uh, a try. A little bit of that mustard caviar. <laughs> that is some serious food. Spiciness of the rub is coming in. But the mustard caviar, it really brings out the best in the pork. A great mixture and the mustard caviar really has that bourbon, that, that oak that comes out and it, it strengthens the smoke flavor that's already on the piglet. You get the, the maple syrup that brings the sweetness together with the apple. A perfect, perfect match. And just a little bit of sour from the mustard seed. It's to die for guys. You gotta try this, you know. See you guys next time. Cheers.